a matrishana sauce. So what in the heck is it? The flavor base of this is a very special ingredient called guanciale. It's cured pork jowl or pork cheeks. And we treat it just like bacon. We put it into a cold pan with a little bit of oil sort of for encouragement. And we kind of render it and we melt all of that fat out of there. Look at that. I'm gonna take out about a third of this. Why? Because I'm gonna garnish my whole pasta dish with this later on. All right, onions sweating in my guanciale fat. Good things happening. We're gonna give these a big fat season of salt. Helps pull out the onion juices and really makes good flavored things happening. And we're gonna give this a pinch of crushed red pepper. We're gonna go little here, so as we're eating this, we feel the heat come up from the back. No, and then if we wanted a real big punch, we could add more crushed red pepper at the table. So, good stuff happening. My onion's going low and slow. Tomato's gonna go in in a little bit. So, I sweated my onions in the guanciale fat and then seasoned them with plenty of salt and crushed red pepper and my San Marzano tomatoes. Pasta water ready to roll. So let's go ahead and get my bucatini, or as we affectionately in the restaurant call this buki. I'm gonna drop my buki. So, there we go. All right, so this, my very salty pasta water, a pound of buki for about that much sauce. This one cooks for about seven or so minutes. And then we're gonna pull it out of there and toss it in my sauce, and then we're gonna be ready to eat. This is how we finish pasta always. It cooks in the sauce. We toss it around in there to perform the marriage of the pasta and sauce. Yeah, baby. We're gonna finish this guy up. The marriage of the pasta and sauce is held together by the glue of Parmesan and big fat finishing oil. Cheese, of course, all pasta gets cheese. Almost all pasta gets cheese. All right, and my big fat finishing oil. What this does is it makes our pasta so aromatic so when it sits down in front of you, you can really smell it. Held together by that finishing oil and the cheese. Put a little bit more cheese on top. Yeah, baby. And then I kept some of my guanciale, the sort of the superstar of this dish. I kept it out. So I have some crispy critters to put on the top of there. Look at that. All right, I'm giving this a taste right now. Pasta shouldn't be waited on. Right. This really is comfort food to me.